Yeah, my sister is being really weird. Well, I'm Coco Peebles. Anyways, so yeah. Oh, okay. I, so you get to be the excited one. Okay. So she's kind of in a mood. Anyways, I curled my hair today, as you can see. I got a brand new curling iron from my friend. Love you, girl. Anyways, I also did my makeup. You guys can't really see. But anyways, I'm in my big sweater comfy thing, but I still can. And I'm, I have tie-dye on. Anyways, so I'm going to show you guys my new fish tank because there's so a lot of stories. You were filming me. Um, Ow. Don't push me. Emery is being super mean right now, so I'm gonna leave, and she's not gonna be in any more of my YouTube videos because no, she doesn't. I want to be in your YouTube video. But you're being mean to me, and it's my YouTube channel, so I don't have to give you that. You may tie it. Anyway, so I'm gonna leave because she's being okay. rude. No. Hey, I'm coming too. It's my room. You can't come in my room. So. I gotta tell you the story before I guys show you the brand new tank and it's a really exciting story but also kind of a sad story. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys that. Alrighty, so the last, not the last video, but like the second to last that says I got a new fish, you saw River. Um, if you guys haven't seen that video, you can. That was earlier this year in like June, like the end of June. So it was like four four months ago or something like that. something like that four or five months ago almost and I still have river which is really happy about it so when I went over to eastern Washington um fourth of July my grandma had over there she had this big 15 gallon tank with no fish nothing in it and I was like can I have it she was like, yeah, sure. So we came back like a few weeks later, cleaned up her shop, and we got it. And um, she gave us gravel. She gave us a heater. She gave me this rock that I'll show you in just a second. Uh, so she gave us a few things. She even gave us like water conditioner. That is really good. Like, really good. Anyways, so that's really nice. So, once I brought it back home, I set everything up, put the water in it. I didn't have a filter, or, and I didn't really know if the heater worked, and there was also a thermometer that came with it. So, I hadn't had the tank really decorated that much, it didn't come with many decorations. And, um, it's still not as decorated as I want it to be, but we'll fix that. So, anyways, I was, went to the pet store, went to Pet Store and Petco, and so did my sister, and you'll see why in just a second. Um, so I got my filter, I got more conditioner, I got more food, I got three, two, two more fish, I got a, um, hold on. Okay, anyways, so I got the two fish, and I got one female and one male. So, and River is a male, and I read, it's not very good to put betas together, but it was also a 15 gallon tank. So I moved River from a one gallon, which is not good to have a beta in, to a 15 gallon, which is a huge difference. And you'll see why in just a second, or how big of a difference that is. So I had to move things around because I can just have it on my floating shelf, or it was on my night table, but my night table isn't big enough for a 15 gallon tank. And it's actually, the phone is actually resting on the tank right now. It looks like I have a hoop earring in, but I don't, I promise. Anyways, oh, and I dyed my hair black, as you can see. And it has little highlights by myself. I did it by myself, and I think that turned out pretty good. Anyways, so, I put the two fish in there, and I was going to have a baggy bottom. So, like, the bikini bottom. So, sorry, my sister is being really annoying right now. And, um... So I had the red female, which was um, Mr. Krabs, and I had a yellowish male beta that was really pretty, and I think I have, still have a video. If I still do, I'll put it in here right now. Okay, so there's River right there, and SpongeBob is right there. Oh, that's a little funky. 
He has some tail damage because River tried to eat him, but it's perfectly normal and I'm getting some medicated stuff that will help him restore his fins, but he has the yellow. He's really cute. Um, I'm not really sure where Mr. Krabs is right now, but she's a female, so those are two males. And this is what the tank looks like. I got shells, I got the little Spongebob thing in there, and I got those two plants. And I also got a tiny one right there. But, uh, yeah. But, yeah. Um, so, Mr. Krabs likes to hang out there and under the bridge. But I don't know where Mr. Krabs is at the moment. But it's basically a little baby female redfish, and I'll get, take a picture once she comes out of hiding. But, yeah, I don't know where she is right now. And then this is the filter. <laughs> As you can see, it's coming out of there. So it looks fine right from the top. And then, um, yeah. Okay. Good. So, yeah. Anyways, um, I don't know if I still have it or not, but if I do, then you just saw it. If not, then this is kind of awkward. Anyways. So, Mr. Krabs didn't make it. He only lasted a few more, a few days. And it wasn't because any of the males were attacking him or anything like that. He, I think he was already sick, or she, she was already sick, and she didn't make it. Spongebob had fin rot, so, excuse me, I am so sorry, this is turning out to be a very weird video. So, Spongebob had fin rot, and River was attacking him, chasing him around, which is not a good thing. So, he was suffering from stress and fin rot, and those combined together didn't end well. So, Spongebob unfortunately passed away about a week later and which was my mom's favorite fish um that we had so that was really sad the thing is is that when i found out what was going on with spongebob i immediately i had immediately went to petco.com and i ordered a antibacterial medicine and i'll show that to you right now so it's beta fix and it got super good reviews for healing beta fins skin all natural blah 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 and it was supposed to come in time but then the um delivery person or whatever decided to bring it to linwood which is a different <clears throat> city that i live in or than me so went to a completely different city and it was said it was picked up at the docks by chen I don't know what any of that means and it was supposed to get here in time and a few days and I called Petco about two times, UPS three times, they said they were going to call me in like an hour each time, they never called me until it finally arrived at my door. By that time it's been like three days since River or Spongebob passed away. So that was very sad but I still put the me medicine in there because it's really good for them. Um, it helps keep their skin vibrant, uh, helps with fin rot, anything like that. It's really good. So, fast forward to today. I went to Petco, or no, not Petco. I ordered on Petco. Um, River is still alive, still doing really well. Um, very hearty fish. And I got the filter in there, I got the heater in there, and I got, um, and you'll see in just a second. And I also want to show you Emery's fish because, fish, because when we went to the pet store, she also got a fish. And um, her name is technically a male, but her name is Winter. And she's in the one gallon, unfortunately. But um, she might move over to the 15 gallon, I'm not really sure. So I'm going to go ahead and show you all the decorations and what the 15 gallon looks like right now. All right, so. This is what the 15 gallon looks like. It is way different, as you can see. I've got a lot of things going on. There's River, very beautiful. Just coming to say hello. It was my face and everything. Obviously, I've had her for <laughs> quite a long time. So there's the rock. This is so. This is the whole thing. It is set on my dresser, and here's what it looks like from the top. This is a separate lid that I got. There's a lid that came with this that my grandma had was not good at all so we got this which has lights in it got the filter and the heaters right there and as, as you can see then i have this big rock and they actually like this shell right here they like going behind it let me show you real quick um they like going in between that so those two i actually just saw 
river in this uh, SpongeBob house, and it has holes that river can get through. This is a little leaf hammock. So we see a little leaf attached to the suction cup, and betas actually really like to rest on there, and I've actually seen River do that quite a few times. Here we have the real plants. So this is a real plant, and these two are real plants that I'm trying to keep alive. Um, they didn't, they didn't come, they came like that, and I'm so I'm trying to keep them alive. Then we have this pretty thing, the bridge. My grandma already had the bridge, and all these shells my mom had. Um, then there's that plant right there, which is silk plant, so it's fine for them. And then I've seen river under the bridge as well. So, so yeah, that is basically what is happening. Um, I don't remember what position this was at first, but anyways, that is what's going on, and it's actually really kind of cool. Um, I just feed river three pellets. Dinner, around my dinner time, so around like six-ish or seven-ish, uh, three pellets every single day at night time, only at night. And I train her with, I have to train her with the leaf hammock to get used to it, and I put the food right above it. So, and she's been trained so far. So, that's what's going on. My plan is to completely decorate the, um, old tank and maybe get a beta sorority or I might get like um, guppies or other fish that are compatible. I want to do a lot more research and really figure out what's the best, watch videos on it, stuff like that. And But right now I'm just going to keep river in there. I don't want to harm any more fish or do anything wrong because I, I would rather have it completely right before I do that. And river seems to be great so I'm going to give you one last look. At the 15 gallon and then I'm gonna go and show you guys at the one gallon right so this is what it looks like there's river swimming around obviously it looks beautiful bigger than when we first got her and so this rock is really cool because it obviously has the holes that go through and it has an extra hole right through there so there's the leaf panic to go through there's the shells there's the rock there's the plant the spongebob house there's these plants which I'm trying to get more vibrant and I've seen her under the bridge so this is awesome we've already had one water change and it's turned out so, really well now I'm gonna show you Emery's one gallon so Emery's tank we did not put in her room or the spare bedroom or anything like that we're actually putting it in the kitchen because it has a lot of natural light as you can see window window slider so her name is Winter, and here it is. So, Winter is in there looking at you. You can kind of get her from the side. Super pretty fish. Um, it's a twin tail half moon male beta. And we have the little hut. This plant is not living. That's the. So, if you guys remember the first plant from um, when I got the new fish, that's the same plant. And as you can see, it's not doing very well since winter's been in there and my sister has been taking care of it and it hasn't been going very well um winter is fine but the plant isn't when i had the plant in my one in the one gallon tank when i had river um the plant was thriving it was took up like half the tank and the last time i cleaned it because i had to clean it for my sister there was algae all over it i can already see algae growing and just the plant the leaves were falling off of it it was crazy so yeah, it's not doing very well. As you can see, the ones in my tank were doing a lot better. There's winter, and there's this pretty unicorn one. And I don't know, it's just very different. But um, yeah, so it's just right here, and there's a window that comes right there. So that is my update. Uh, we've also um, got some news coming that I might be moving, well, I will be moving in about two years to, Eastern Washington. So I live in Western Washington. But um, that's a new table we got the other day. So comment down below if you like my hair and if you like the fish tanks and if you want more videos like this or comment down below what kind of videos you want. But uh, yeah, see you guys later.